Welcome to day one of stat reasoning. I hope you guys are as pumped as I am to learn about categorical data, all the graphs that come with it, and the difference between categorical data and numerical data. Okay, so the big first idea with stat reasoning is understanding categorical versus numerical data. So the whole thing about statistics is asking a type of question that yields an answer, um, and there's different types of answers that you can get. My dog is bothering me right now. Stop. Okay. Um, so if I ask what color, um, what's your favorite color, that's a statistical question. As trivial as it may seem, it's still going to yield some kind of answer, and that answer can go into some uh, category um, or a number. So if I ask you what's your favorite color, you say red, that's obviously a category. Now if I ask you how tall are you, and you tell me that you are um, six foot two, that is a measurement, so that is numerical data. So anytime you're asking questions to a sample, to a population, something that you want to know about, you are asking either a categorical or a numerical question. And another way to represent numerical and other words that you may see is quantitative. And you may have heard this word in like a science class, and we also have categorical, which is our qualitative. Okay, so quantitative meaning you're counting something, um, and categorical means that you can shuffle it into categories. So categorical, categorical examples could be your favorite social media platform, your eye color, but there are some that are kind of weird. Um, the first one is like grade level. So if I ask you what grade you're in and you tell me that you are in 11th grade, you can't average 11th grade. You can't be 11.2. You have to be in a certain category, so that's a categorical one. Another one is like, what place did you finish in a race? First, second, third. Although those are numbers, those are still categories. Um, another tricky one is I ask you what your winning percentage is. Now, winning percentage is often a number. So like you won 30% of the time. That means you lost 70% of the time. Well, the outcomes for that is win or a loss. So if my outcome is win or a loss, those two things are categoricals, making that type of question a categorical question. Now on the flip side, you have numerical variables. Numerical, numerical variables are a lot easier. So you have height, time it takes you to run a race, miles you live from school. Um, these certain types of variables have units, so height, inches, feet, um, time is seconds and minutes, miles you live from school, obviously miles. So those are units. Those are numbers that be, can be averaged, meaning that you can find a median, you can find the mean, you can represent it with a box plot. So there's different uh, types of graphs that go for different types of variables. So if you flip a coin eight times, okay, so if you flip a coin eight times, you may have an outcome of five heads and three tails. So although those are countable outcomes, those are still going to be categorical variables. All right, so just kind of like a brief chart filling in to see how you do. Um, this is just a bunch of types um, that you might see. So amount of money earned, obviously that's a dollar amount, so that's going to be um, your numerical. Arm span, so arm span is from your middle finger to your middle finger, and that's going to be like inches. Um, now the harder ones I'm going to point out is birthday. So you were born on the 17th of September, so that means that you have a certain day that's been assigned to you. That's a category. You can't be born on 17.6. You were born on a specific day. Another one that might be tricky if I'm looking at them is like um, state school postcode, which means your zip code. So zip codes are numbers, but zip codes are always going to actually be categories because they cannot be averaged, they cannot be manipulated. Okay, the other one, year level, we kind of already talked about that. That's like the 10th grade, 11th grade, and 12th grade. So that is a non-averageable, that is a certain category that you have. So take a second to try to fill these in. I don't think they're too difficult, so you should be able to distinguish between something being a number outcome and something being a category outcome.